when you start adding accessories onto your vehicle's CAN bus system, like I got here, a towing system, our Bluetooth reverse backup kit, I have this six function light bar, additional sensors in the front and back, all these different devices, they cause major problems to the vehicle's CAN bus communication system. What to do? If you've watched many of my videos, you know I install the hell out of accessories on my vehicles. This one is no difference. But unfortunately, some bad things have happened. Let me explain. Watch what happens when I start this vehicle. See that? Trailer connected. But there's no trailer connected. And also, there's another problem. This button right here is for the auto start and auto stop feature of this truck. That no longer works either. One more point I'd like to point out is that when I used to put my vehicle in reverse, of course the camera would come on and it used to have the grid with the lines and it would give you the beeping as you got closer to the object. That no longer functions either. So something's got to happen here. I'll tell you what you do. You get one of these. These things are amazing. Um, beyond amazing. Once I saw this thing was available, I knew I was making a video that second. Check this thing out. This is called a CAN bus decoder. First of its kind I've ever put my hand on. And I'm going to use it and test it out in this vehicle. Because this vehicle can benefit from it. And I'll tell you why. Because there's a list. And this little article I read really enlightened me. So basically, like I was saying... Blind spot monitoring systems, I have backup cameras, lane departure warning systems, collision warning, and everything in between. All those things that a CAN bus control, basically the way a CAN works, it's a bunch of little micro computers that are communicating to the host system to make all the functions of your vehicle work. Because it's not like it used to be where it was an analog vehicle and had a couple digital components. Now it's the complete opposite of that. It's a digital vehicle where people like me are trying to add analog components like all those accessories I showed you previously in the video. What happens is it causes a bunch of weird chaos on the network and the vehicle doesn't know what to make of it so usually instead of enhancing it actually detracts a lot of the stuff that you mean to do well actually does the complete opposite but luckily they got black boxes like this to fix all these situations so here's what I was talking about because this just came out at a recent mobile electronics show it's called SEMA show where all the major comings and goings in the industry are discussed and this was a big part of the topic the CAN bus and how you know future is here and how things work and how they will work in the future it's all CAN bus and it's just getting crazier so this is the actual module that does the decoding these are the analog 12 volt outputs and you can see some of them actually have labels on them so you got CAN low, CAN low CAN high if you want to hardwire onto the back up onto the back of the OBD connector also you have your dedicated outputs and plus you have constant input, you have a ground input path, and then you have several outputs. So what happens is you take this, you take your connector, and you plug it onto the OBD connector under your dashboard. You see right there, there's mine. So you just match up this plug to that plug, like that, snug it on there. Now these here, this twisted pair, this is for your can high and can low that you're going to connect onto the decoder. You can see here it says can high and can low. And what you're going to have is all these outputs. Now this vehicle here was, I, I had this one special order from Brand Motion, so that way it'll work specifically for my Ford F-150. So this one here is the default list that this one will work for by now. And there is my output list. So you can see, I got a battery input. In addition out, I got my can high and low input, which are here. And look what I get on my outputs. Parking light output, left turn, right turn, brake output, reverse, ground in, no connection, and you got your grounds. So this will tie into your cameras for your directionals, for your lane changing systems, for your reverse system, for your add-on light bars reverse triggers, cameras. This fixes everything. So when you connect through the module, it gives no feedback data to the vehicle's CAN bus system, so that way it informs 
and works as it naturally should in a digital platform. So this is the fix to all the problems that you're going to be starting to experience. If not yet, you will. So trust me, this is going to be fixing a lot of problems for a lot of people in the future because vehicles are just getting so digital, so digital, it's getting crazy. But it doesn't have to be crazy because you got me as your friend. And if you need one of these things or have any questions about it, you can shoot me a comment or an email and I'll be happy to help you out.